traditional stages in developing a system, understanding the problem. Now here is the waterfall model representing the traditional approach to system development. We're going to be looking at understanding the problem here, which you can see is the first stage of the traditional approach. So let's have a look into it. Now, essentially, the understanding the problem stage is the starting point of the traditional approach to system development. It involves investigating the requirements and issues of an existing system. Okay, so the system currently being used in an organization as the foundations for developing or deciding whether a new system is necessary. Okay, the outcome of this stage may be a requirements report or requirements prototype. Okay, that word requirements coming up a lot here, isn't it? Which both aid in the understanding of how the existing, existing system works and potentially what elements of the existing system need to be carried over to the new system if development is going to be going ahead. Now, these elements, they are what we classify as the requirements, okay? And that's what we'd be highlighting in these requirement reports or representing or modeling in a requirements prototype. So how do we find out what these things are, okay? And what essentially are the problems within an existing system and whether we need to go ahead and develop a new system? Well, what we need to do is a few different approaches of analyzing the system, okay? So what we need to do is in order to identify problems with the existing system, the project team's first steps involve collecting data about the existing system. Data collection related to the accumulation of data about an existing system includes the following methods. The first one is, interview the users of the system okay so the people who use the information system for its intended purpose okay it may be first collected from them okay using a survey or an interview okay because we can give them out in bulk and we can do lots of people at once if it is a survey and we can do online surveys as well to get uh, send out forms to many users at once through email or we may do face-to-face -face interviews and sit down with people and really try to critique what's their experience with the existing system now, along these same lines, we can also do the same thing with participants. And once again, we need to emphasize that a participant is a user of an information system who specifically has a role of interfacing with the system in order to carry out the information processes of the system. The participants are a part of the system, okay? And so for this reason, their input is extremely important to us because they're most likely going to be using, if we do develop a new system, they're going to be a part of it, okay? They're the people that use this every day and they are one of the cogs in the system. So we need to emphasize that questions used in interviews or surveys targeted participants would obviously be different to that of users of the systems as the participants have a more detailed perspective of the system itself and interact with the system in a specific way based on their job role they might be a database administrator for the current system okay the existing system so they're going to have input on what types of storage methods they'd want to be using how the database side of things would want to be created what kinds of fields they'd want to have in the database okay and what software would we use for managing the data database as well. So their input is extremely important for understanding the system. The final area of data that the project team would want to gather is actually from the system itself and them interacting with the system. The project team can gain an idea about the functionality of a system through experimenting with the system themselves, okay, and not just them in interacting with the system, but they also might observe the users and participants as well interacting with the system, okay, in order to gain a better understanding of how the existing system works as well. Okay, but what essentially they're trying to find out here by, you know, observing and experimenting with the system is how does the system work, the existing system? What does the existing system actually do? And finally, who actually uses this information system? Okay, so who is its target audience? What are the users? Okay, and that's why we'd want to look at them interacting with this system. Okay, so I hope this gives you an understanding of the understanding the problem stage of system development. Essentially, that we look at an existing system within an organization we try to determine whether or not it's still usable. Do people still like using it? Is it still completing its job correctly? And if not, okay, then we basically decide to go ahead to the next stage and start developing a new system.